Y'all, I have drugged the old man in the kitchen with me today. Uh, hey, y'all. <laughs> thank you for speaking to my friends. Uh, how long have we been married? 17 years or 16? 17. Yeah, 17 years. And Michael and I have had a disagreement over the pot of chicken and dumplings that he makes and I make. He said that his are so much better than mine. Well, and, and that's pretty tough down for me to challenge Paula Dean. Oh, uh, mine are so much better, y'all. <laughs> but mine are better. I, no, they are not. Oh, I wouldn't even gone out on this limb. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> well, you better watch out because that's a thin limb and it's going to break with you. No. We, we need a, a, a unbiased judge. Ta taste tester? Taste tester. Okay. Which I don't know where we're going to find one. <laughs> Anywhere. Walk out down the street and ask a neighbor to come in and taste. Okay, well, we're going to do it. <laughs> so, I are you know. challenging me? Yes, I, I've already challenged you with your chicken. <laughs> your is chicken is a chicken that you put in your chicken dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Michael, you know, when I make chicken and dumplings, it would be. Uh, the way grandma taught me, uh -huh. and it would be a half a day's project, y'all. <clears throat> because I would boil my chicken up and uh, I would pick it and I would roll my own dumplings. So, you know, it, it was an affair. Well, in the magazine, one of our easy uh, recipes that is like part of our comfort food down here is an easy chicken and dumplings. And we're going to start with like a half a stick of butter, Michael. I'm going to go over here and pour it in the pot and turn this on like medium high. Now, for years, y'all, I made my dumplings just like my Grandma Paul taught me to make. Plain flour, salt, and ice water. I mean, my water actually had ice floating in it because it has to be real cold. And I would mix them up, and it was so hard to roll out. Do you remember ever helping me uh, um, roll out dumplings? No, but I can remember my mom that made them that way. Yeah, yeah. And you want them thin, real thin, and you want them tough. So when you go to eat them, you can take your fork, you know, uh -huh. and, and cut the dumplings. So, <laughs> there are two different brands of frozen dumplings out there on the market. Well, when I first discovered those, I said, well, I'm gonna give it a try because this sure would be easier. It was so much easier and it tasted like my Grandma Paul's. So I was over the moon uh, when I saw I could have chicken and dumplings in less than an hour. And then the other great part about today is we can go to the grocery store and have the most incredible roasted ch chicken at our fingertips. So, don't have to boil your chicken. Just buy it from the deli. You go to the frozen food department, pick up your dumplings, and you go home and in no time, you've got a pot of chicken and dumplings. So you'll need to put just a little bit of flour on you. <laughs> so people think, oh gosh, look at her. She has worked so hard. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take our celery, our onions, and our carrots. So I'm gonna cook these in that half a stick of butter until they're almost done. And I'm gonna turn that on high a little bit because it's gonna cool down. Now the thing is with your chicken and dumplings, your frozen convenient dumpling, you have to be careful when you're taking them off the sheet, you have used those before, haven't you, Mike? Yeah. Do you use those in your I do, but I, I'd like to, I would, right now, I would like to um, keep my recipe a secret because oh. <laughs> if it's going to be a competition, I'm, um, but I do use those. That's let, a, let, that's let, me, convenient. let me tell y'all something. Eddie, if you put that telephone up there on those eyes, they're brown for a reason. <laughs> Well, 
I'm telling you, to just make the challenge, I know they're good. So, there is an Ann's and then there's a Miss B's. So, you know. I thought it was Miss Smith. Was no, Ms. she does pies. Miss Smith does oh. pies. So, this is our chicken and dumplings. And to me. There you go. Uh, yes, Ann's are a little bit easier to get out of the out of the paper to me. So that'd be great if you do that, Mikey. Yep. My mother used to do uh, like the drop dumplings. Like yes. they look like biscuits kind now, of. Now I think of that as a northern chicken and dumpling. For some reason, uh, did y'all cook those eggs? I, I never really had chicken and dumplings until I came well, here. I just think about that as being a Yankee dumpling. But, you know, I've been wrong before. <laughs> but that's the way you did it. Huh? That's the way they did them at our house. What's that? So, like, like a biscuit. Like oh, a... I thought you, you said your mama rolled them out. No, but she would, um, it took her a while to do it. Huh? Yeah, to, to roll them out. But drop dumpling, you know, that's pretty quick. Yeah, that's a pretty quick quick way to do it. Alright, it's going to take, I probably should have put those carrots on first. I'm going to take this um, cloud feeds the triplets. A lot of pasta. You know, the really tiny pasta, Eddie? Yes. Where they almost don't even have to chew so I'm going to take some of these over to Cloud and see if the babies will eat them since they've been eating pasta since they had teeth. So we'll see. I know, I bet you a dollar that our little Davis, Jamie and Brooke's baby, I grant you he would eat them because that boy likes to eat, doesn't he? <laughs> Okay, so we're just gonna let that cook for a few minutes. And then I've got two quarts of chicken broth. And we made this using the wet base. Uh, in fact, I saw an ad for it, y'all. The wet base is the first time ever on TV yesterday. You remember me saying something yeah. to you, Eddie? Yes. I said, I can't believe they finally uh, are advertising that because it's such a good product. Once you use the wet base, you'll never, you'll never want to use the granulated. But see, this is this is what it looks like, and you can. It comes in like low sodium, if that's what you're needing. But it's great, and it doesn't expire. It's good until December the twentieth, twenty twenty two. Got a good shelf life on it. Okay, this has been cooking about six or seven minutes, and we've got a roasted chicken from the deli because remember, this is easy, fast, and easy. Can you use now, the entire roasted chicken? Dark meat? Yes, white oh, meat the dark, dark meat. meat is what makes it so good. Yes, you use every piece of that chicken. All right, so I just added a fourth of a cup of flour. And we're just gonna make sure the flour is worked in good. And now we are gonna slowly add our chicken broth. You wanna come help me, Mikey? Sure. Mikey's been on a diet, y'all, and how much have you weighed, lost 30 I'm, pounds? I'm stuck on 30. Okay. You can just start slowly adding that. Oh, but he's doing real, real good. He's on that keto diet. So he can't have chicken and dumplings. No. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Thank you, Michael. All right, so we're going to bring this to a ball. I'm going to add my parsley. Oops. Darn. And time. Yes, and I'm going to add my thyme. Look at me. 
I've been making chicken and dumplings half a day. Look at me, Andy. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna bring this up to a bowl because we've got to add our dumplings. And we're gonna add a tablespoon of fresh thyme. Well, no, that, that was already in with the parsley. The, the uh... Oh, did Teresa put the thyme in with the parsley? I, I, you put the parsley in with the thyme that I chopped. <laughs> oh, you didn't say anything. So this is thyme. That's thyme, and then you added some parsley. Oh, and parsley. Okay. <laughs> I taste the thyme. I taste it, but you know what? You could add some I like stones. Uh -huh. I just like it kind of floating around in there. See, they're, they're so ahead of me, y'all. <laughs> While I'm thinking about doing it, they've done it. <laughs> they've already done it. <laughs> okay, so thank you. So if I wanted to, I could just add some more parsley, which I will probably do. How much time did it was, you? It was a tablespoon of time. A tablespoon, so. I'm gonna just throw in a little bit more parsley since I thought it was all parsley. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. Now, Michael would like for his chicken and dumplings to be black with pepper, wouldn't you? I'm not telling you my recipe. <laughs> now, my folks in the kitchen at Cooking with Paula Dean magazine, they test all these recipes and they tell us to stir it. Now, I've always told y'all not to stir it because it can break up your dumplings. But uh, since they tested this recipe, I'm gonna do just as they say. And uh, you wanna make sure you don't uncover your dumplings too early because they will stick together and they thaw very, very quickly. But they, those come out of the package so easily. So, you know, if you're gonna stir them, you just make sure it's a gentle, a real gentle movement through your pot. Now, when we get all the dumplings in, we're gonna uh, put the lid on our pot and we're gonna turn the heat down to like a medium low and we're gonna let them cook for about 30 minutes. So 30 minutes, we're gonna come back, we're gonna add the chicken and that's it. Check, check it for salt and pepper, how quick is that? <laughs> Good. Doesn't it look good? It's so good. Now I just added a little garlic powder. So now I'm just gonna add a little salt, <clears throat> a little pepper, just a wee little bit, and uh, the recipe calls for a half a pack of the frozen dumplings, but my folks around here like more dumplings. They like it thicker. Me, I like a little bit more broth. Uh, so just depending on how your family likes it is, uh, you know, how you would do it. But I would probably follow the recipe and only use a half a package of the frozen dumplings. But if this gets too thick for us, I'll just add some more chicken broth and that'll fix it. But I'm fixing to add the chicken right now, so it's gonna be extra thick, just the way Eddie likes it. And I think Michael likes it that way too, but Michael can't have any. <laughs> Look, Michael. Oh. My goodness. That looks good for a quickie because mine takes all day. Well, I know. I mean, I was looking at a half a day. All right, but I'm definitely gonna have to add some more base, some more uh, stock, chicken stock. 
because just adding those. You move over now? Just very gently, please, Mikey. All right, now don't stir it. Just kind of push it. Take your spatula and wait, let me show you now. Do okay. this like that, okay? So we're gonna let this simmer for about 10 more minutes. So just kind of fold it together. And because I added more stock, I'm gonna add, okay, I can get to that pot. <laughs> no, I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. Very gentle, Mike. That's a pat. That's what Paula call, call it calls it one, one pat of butter. Dokey art of choky. Mm. What? Oh, Ow! That's lunch. This is the one I ate out of. Thank you. Eddie, you want me to go ahead and dip you up some so they can be cooling? Because they are so hot. You want a little taste of the juice? No, I'm watching. <laughs> You're watching? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this would almost be considered like porn, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> For somebody on a diet. <laughs> uh. mm. Mm. See? To the tooth. You're not missing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> look at the look on that little face. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. So good. So, so good. And so quick. So, love and best dishes, y'all. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.